Hello everyone, how are you doing? It's Wisdom Moments on K24 with me, CJ Temo, the Sage. I hope that you are coming along good. Uh, this month of November is treating you well, or you are treating it good. We started talking about the battles men face. Well, you see, we've got a lot of conversations around men and the need for men to be helped, the need for men to be spoken to, and the need for men to speak. And sometimes people want to understand what exactly a man going through. There's conversations around men love to go into the caves uh, when they're going through things. They don't talk about it. It is generally known that men will have higher suicidal rates. Uh, they probably have a lot of emotional meltdown that they won't talk about. They face a lot more which they are not equipped to deal with, uh, not because it is just unique to them, but probably because they do not have the permission to deal with and they don't know where to seek the help from. Or sometimes then the ego becomes too bloated for them to seek help, even when they know that they need to seek help. I need to say that it is important for you to know that every man has a battle. Every man faces certain battles and there's nothing wrong with you looking for help and crying out for help when you are going through certain battles. It's all right for you. It will never reduce who you are. See, this is why we started by talking about the first battle being the battle for identity. And uh, right now I'm going to be talking about the battle for acceptance. But before I do that, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel, CJ Atemo? If you have not done so, kindly uh, just run there to YouTube, subscribe, uh, set the notifications, and then Later on, when you can, watch the videos, like, post a comment and share. If you need to get in touch, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn as CJ Temo. You can also reach us via mail, cjatsol at gmail.com. We'd be glad to just get back to you on any matter that you'd have raised with us as soon as we can. I say that every man faces the battle of identity and for most of them, their identity stems from their power, their performance, their position, their possessions as well. That most men would identify themselves through those things uh, and rarely do they even look at the things like their personality and the people around their lives. See, women will mostly define themselves by their relationships, uh, but men rarely do that. Uh, because they always look at everything's bottom line and whether they have power. So men will easily have conversations around football, around politics, around money, because in that they feel a sense of power or they will have a sense of, you know, positions or this possession, whether it is pseudo or true, they will have a sense of that and they will have conversations. When they have this hanging out with men, they are talking about politics, they're talking about money, they are talking about football or they're talking about women as well and you see when they're talking about the women they don't talk about the women from a point of relationships really it's just part of their sport you know politics is a sport to them the money is a sport to them uh, the football is a sport to them and they'll talk about the women um, generally as a sport not really having intimate relationships or rather intimate conversations about the women like women would have concerning the men in their lives they don't really do that because for them everything is just around a sport and because they identify themselves through their power their possessions so i've got three cares i've got two cares i've got this i've got that you know uh, when a man comes even to have a conversation with a lady uh, he will probably bring out that and to his friends he will do that even the more boys and their toys you know they always want to uh, show off to the other boys if he has his car he can't just buy his car well rarely will they do that won't just buy his car and stay home he has to drive it somewhere so that the other boys can see because then if he is seen to be driving a certain kind of a machine, his position defines him and he changes his status in society. Which then brings us now to the element of acceptance. Acceptance that one of the reasons why there will be this battle for identity is because of the battle for acceptance. Men love to feel that they have been accepted. And not just accepted, but accepted at a certain level. This is why when they are not sure about how they will be received either by their friends or anybody else they would rather stay away they will be comfortable going into spaces where they feel 
that they will not only be accepted but also respected as well. So they've got this battle and this battle then makes them feel sometimes that they need to work so hard. There are men who are in marriage and relationships who feel that if they will do more, then they will be more accepted. So sometimes they don't even spend time with the people that they love, the people that they connect with. They, they don't spend time just to have quality relationships with even their own male friends because they are doing so much just to fit in. They will borrow so that they can live in certain spaces because they want to be deemed to be a certain kind of a person just so that they can fit in. It's the fear of people talk about, a fear of missing out. That's a whole real battle for men. Uh, you will see a man not want to go into a school function just because he's thinking that the men who are over there are probably doing well. See, ladies will find their way generally. I know that ladies have got their own issues as well, but then they'll find their way. They can easily pick up themselves, use an Uber, use, use a Matatu or something, explain their way around and do that. That's not very easy for men because they're looking at how will they be looked at. It's a battle of acceptance. The thing that we call ego is actually a battle of acceptance. It is whether the people will accept me, but it begins with you accepting yourself. Nobody will treat you better than you treat yourself and nobody will put value on you if you have devalued yourself. You have to come to the place of having that self-acceptance, which means that you will have to look at your strengths. See, I say this all the time, that you've got to do your own personal SWOT analysis. You've got to ask yourself, what are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? What opportunities do I have? And what are my threats? You've got to do that for yourself. Own your flaws, just like a business. Get to know what are your assets, and what are your liabilities? Then begin to work your way around and scale. Make sure that you are growing in the areas that you are weak at, finding out how you can make progress, but still understanding that there's no day you will ever be perfect. If you accept yourself, including your flaws, that does not mean that you just let them be there and say, these are my flaws and everybody has theirs. No, we're not talking about people making excuses for bad behavior or people making excuses for not growing personally, but we're just talking about understanding that there's no one time when you will be totally perfect. There's no one time when everybody will like you, but you getting to know that even the areas in your life that don't seem like they're strong areas, could actually turn out to be assets for you that even the areas in your life that make you feel vulnerable could become a source of strength for you maybe they'll make you more relational maybe they will make you feel more empathetic to people maybe they will make you connect better with other people in certain spaces whatever it may be getting to know that there's no day you are going to have this picture of perfection when you have accepted yourself like that it is easier for the other people to toe the line nobody can use against you something that you use for yourself nobody can use against you something that you have brought out to the open so if you never went to school and you talk about it who can bring that up if you're not good at something who can bring that up against you uh, see uh, like i'll certainly tell you right now that I never used to go swimming, so you can never use that against me. You understand what I'm talking about? I live in a place where there was water everywhere, but never used to go swimming. So once you understand and you accept yourself plus your flaws, uh, you know, I've got my, my crew, someone is laughing at that because they can't imagine that I didn't do that. No, I never did that. The moment you will bring out what anybody could use against you and you bring it out and put it out there, they really don't have the arsenal to use that against you. So acceptance begins with you understanding, number one, that you will always have certain areas uh, that you have not worked on, areas that you work in progress, but you don't allow anybody to use that against you because you have accepted that that is you and you focus on your areas of strength. I hope this has been helpful to you. Till the next time, it's CJ Temo on Wisdom Moments on K24.